hedge ratio now first of all what is hedging hedging refers to hedging refers to reducing risk okay how do you re uh, reduce uh, risk you are entering entering into a new transaction in order to okay you are entering into a new transaction in order to reduce the risk involved in in your in your original or previous transaction in your original transaction so you have you are actually doing this transaction but you want to reduce the risk over here so you are entering into a new transaction that is called hedging okay so in this example that i'm going to do now i'm going to you know assume that you have shorted call options shorted call options okay so when you want to, when you when you are shorting call option that means you are selling call options now when you are selling call options you have unlimited risk so in order to hedge this uh, risk you are you are going to buy stocks buy the underlying asset so now the question is how many stocks to be bought that how many stocks to be bought is the hedge ratio okay the ratio will tell you how many stocks should should you buy when you sell call options okay so let's understand this with an example now let's say you know at the moment stocks price is 100 uh, let's say in 3 months time this stock can either go to uh, 100 and uh, you know 115 or uh, let's say uh, 95 okay the stock can go to either 115 or 95 and uh, 110 is the uh, strike price of the call option strike price of the call option okay now after 3 months uh, where if if the strike if the uh, spot price is 115 the option price will will be valued for 5 and uh, if uh, the stock price is 95 the option price will be valued for 0 so it should be either 5 or 0 okay either 5 or 0 so this much is the movement so the movement is this much okay the movement is this much for the movement of this much okay so that means okay that means Pi minus zero for hundred and fifteen minus ninety five. Okay, this is called as hedge ratio. Okay, hedge ratio. So this is called as hedge ratio, which if I calculate numerically, it will be phi by twenty. Pi by twenty. That comes to zero point two five. So zero point two five is the hedge ratio. Okay. Now, if I uh, so, what does this mean? If you are if you are shorting call options, you should buy uh, for every call option, you should buy zero point two five stock. So let's see further how it works. so now i'll just uh, you know convert this this formula into notations so phi as in call price call call options price at time one that means after 3 months in this case when the stock goes up minus uh, call option price at time one when the stock comes down divided by stock price at time 1 when the uh, when the price goes up stock price goes up and here at time 1 when stock price comes down is equal to hedge ratio okay so this is the so this is the formula actually now from this i can derive many other other things as well so h 
into s1 plus minus uh, minus s1 minus is equal to c1 plus minus c1 minus so h s1 plus minus h s1 minus is equal to c1 plus minus c1 minus so h s1 plus i'll shift this plus left hand side because i'm i am pushing all this uh, you know plus on one side and minus on one side because plus refers to when the stock goes up okay so that forms one group so it will become like this yeah now yeah now uh, now this is this is another formula for value of the portfolio okay now let's say if i convert this into numbers 0 0.25 is the uh, hedge ratio into stock one when it goes up uh, stock price when it goes up it was 115 okay 115 when it comes down 95 so 115 minus here uh, call options price was five okay is equal to 0 0.25 into stock price when it goes down is 95 minus call options price will be zero when it comes down so this comes as 0 0.25 into 115 minus 5 23.5 seven five is equal to zero point two five into ninety five that comes to twenty three point seven five this is called value value of the portfolio when stock goes up is equal to value of the portfolio when uh, uh, when stock comes down okay value of the portfolio when stock goes up is equal to value of the portfolio when stock comes down so that means now you are not worried whether the stock is going up or down because you know after uh, uh, three months this will be the value of the portfolio okay yeah so this this is so this is called value of the portfolio this is v1 this is also v1 but stock price coming down okay now if i want to find out the present value present value of the portfolio then it will be 23.75 okay i will discount it to the present value now let's say risk to free rate is let's say five percentage so it will be one plus five percentage and this is for uh, three months so three by twelve so that comes to twenty three point four six so this is the present value of the portfolio okay and there is one more i can derive from this from this equation uh, so h s1 plus then minus c1 plus is equal to you know value 1 plus yeah. yeah now with the help of this equation i can say c1 plus is equal to uh, h s1 plus minus v1 uh, plus because i am shifting this minus c1 right hand side and bringing v1 plus left hand side so this will be the new equation okay so 0 0.25 into s1 plus is 115 minus v1 plus is uh, v1 plus is 23.75 23.75 so that comes to 
28.75 minus 23.75 that is equal to 5. That is equal to 5. So this is the uh, no arbitrage call option price after 3 months. So right now, so present value of the call option will be present value of the call option is equal to 5 divided by let's say uh, 5 percentage is the risk free rate that we are assuming here in 3 months. So that comes to 4.5 939 let's say 4.94 okay 4.94 is the present value of the call option fine so this is the value of the call option okay now uh, yeah now see this is this is the value of the portfolio at time one or after three months now if i want to find out the value of the portfolio now it will be 23.75 divided by 1 plus 5 percentage risk free rate raised to 3 so whatever this value comes to that will be the value okay and here this minus uh, you know this indicates shorting call options this is minus this indicates shorting call option so when i'm shorting this call option i am buying stock as well Okay, so I am buying stock as well. So how many stocks am I buying? I am buying uh, 0. Point, what is the hedge ratio? 0. 0.25. So what it means is uh, when for for one call option for one call option 0. 0.25 stocks I am shorting. Okay. So now this comes in decimal. So if you say like, no, I don't want it decimal, you know, let me convert this to one stock. Then for one stock, then how many call option should I, uh, uh, should I, sh uh, you know, short? So that will be 1 by 0 0.25 that comes to 4. So that means for every four call option, I need to short one stock. I can understand in this way as well. Okay. So hope this is uh, fine. And, uh, you know, if I want to speak about put options, then the formula is, you know, if I take the same example, like, you know, 100 and after three months, it goes to 115. 110 is the strike price and 95 is the is the um, is the uh, stock price if it comes down so for put options so here the price will be zero because it is out of the money and here it will be uh, 15 okay here it will be 15 so now so this is the change for this change in stocks so 0 minus 15 divided by 115 minus 95 so that is equal to that is equal to um, 15 by 20 so minus 0 0.75 minus 0 0.75 that means if i convert this into notations it will be put options uh, at time one when stock price goes up minus put options at time one when the stock price comes down divided by when stock goes up minus when stock comes down is equal to minus hedge ratio